Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now since I recently did explore Act 9.1, I could take up a new champion up to rank 3 as a 7 star. And I did. And I didn't really tell you guys about it. And hence we are fixing that right now. So I chose to rank up my Meg Sentinel and there are a few very interesting amount of bits to talk here obviously we're gonna go and get some gameplay as well i did just activate recall masteries for this because she is actually a champion with one of the highest base attacks in game which also means that uh, recall masteries uh, really really do benefit her so if i do take a look at aunt may out of the seven star rank two category here and we go by base attack she's the highest so I assume that the same would be for 7th star rank 3s. Out of all the 7 stars in the game, she does have the highest base attack. So that is tremendously helpful when interacting with recall masteries. So why you make sense? Now, well, the short of it is she's a tactic attacker. We didn't have anybody in our ball group that had her ranked up. And she's amazing for Alliance War in any given season just about because she's a tech champion that's immune to nullify, has access to heal block and can shut down miss mechanics. And she works great for quite a lot of stuff. All that said though, I have always quite liked her as a character. And recently I made a video where I talked about the champion that I regret the most uh, as my rank 3s. And that unfortunately is Omega Red because he hasn't really done much despite me taking him to rank 3 and having him at highest sig. What makes it even more painful is that I had a chance to awaken my Omega Sentinel because we did have Omega Day's Awakening Gem. And I basically had to pick in between Omega Red and Omega Sentinel. And unfortunately chose Omega Red. Now, in the hindsight, I definitely wish that was Omega Sentinel. So first things first, let's go and nuke down the Twins of Soldier. <laughs> then we're going to go and nuke down somebody bigger. You can also synergize her up quite well, especially with Nimrod. But for now, uh, where is that baby Omega Sentinel? You guys are definitely going to see that she's hitting very hard on her base as is. So just check that out so in three fights in this step this step fight is quite inconsequential and the most generic way you kind of play a mega sentinel is you want to get your debuffs on your opponent so you do that by finishing combo with mediums and then you want to lock them in with heavies or finishing combo with lights obviously certain fights can force mega sentinel to play a certain way which is perfectly fine so now that we have paused everything once again i'm gonna go for the third debuff i'm gonna go for the debuff pause meanwhile also getting our tensed armor up we are gonna drop that level two and after the single level two you can see that winter soldier there is not having the best time necessarily so here we just paused all the debuffs i'm gonna apply one more because two heal blocks never hurt anyone and with this she's just about done this fight so we dropped one level two and she's already done basically so that's a very kind of like simplistic way to play make sentinel obviously you can be much more diligent kind of slow play it and how many hits you need to start applying your incinerates like i'm going to demonstrate in just a second the cool thing about Max Sentinel is obviously that you can ramp her up as well if you keep successfully managing the fight and keep pausing everything. So again, we're going to start with double medium, double medium, double medium. Unfortunately, he threw that, which I hoped he wouldn't. So we're going to get that pause in now. I'm going to go for a couple more double. Mediums. And then we're just going to heavy. And we're going to heavy again. Oh, that was meant to be a heavy attack. But the fight's just about done here anyways. And we actually did very few hits in this fight as well, like 34. Fight duration was just about the same. Right. But 
we can jazz her up a little bit and have a bit more fun with it. Uh, and as soon as we do, you guys can see a bit of a difference. So, first and foremost, in order to make her easier to maintain, she has a synergy with Lady Deathstrike. And then we can also bring in her BFF, the Nimrod. Now, past this point, there are no super meaningful synergies for her. So we can just, for instance, bring in Magneto House of X. Whenever we do find him. And like a Nick Fury. No, not Nick Fury. Who else would be a good synergy partner for her? Sentinel. Our trained opponent. I suppose that's kind of fine. Inflicted with a D. Oh, that doesn't really matter. Okay, armor break instead. I don't believe we're going to make some use from Omega Red here. And then after this, we're going to go and see how we do against uh, Labyrinth of Legends Star Lord as well. So now, show us what you got, baby Omega Sentinel. Again, now all the pauses inflicted will in fact last longer. And my party sense obviously do as well. Got the first incinerate on already. It's quite sweet. Get my paws in. And I'm just gonna pause everything right here, right now. And he's dead. So this is going to be slightly faster. Well, 42 seconds. That's actually significantly faster. But in order to see something interesting, we'd rather need a bigger health pool. So let's try six times bigger health pool. Because once she's super ramped up, she also has some massive level 3 damage. And her level 3 can be very useful in situations where you can't really keep your debuffs paused. In order to get six of those incinerates that will tick away for absolute fortune. But let's just violate this little Star Lord instead. So let's activate Magneto House Facts because passive parry stunts are always very helpful and nice. Now let's see exactly what she can do. So Unfortunately, need to just get this in. Passive AI is quite annoying for Omega Sentinel if you want to ramp up fast. But luckily, in most short fights, it doesn't really matter. Whoops. That's fine. Let's get in the pause now. And pause this. Sweet. Now we're going to get a bit more of that incinerate juice. Unfortunately, I seem to have forgotten how to parry. And I'm actively losing incinerates. So. Let's not do that again. Let's try and maintain them instead. Now, this is much better pace. And this was not good because I just lost a whole bunch of incinerates again. Whoopsie. So in this fight, I never even, I, I definitely will want to redo this fight, being much more careful and cautious 
Because that is my problem in this fight. I'm just trying to be too greedy. If I played it safer, we would have finished this fight already. But all is well with these 15 incinerates. As we can see, we're already doing a ton of damage as well. So now let's see how fast we did it. 2.43. That is still 2 minutes 43 seconds to take down 3.3 million health. But I 100% know we can do much better. And let's do that. just need to make sure we do not let incinerates expire so let's activate magneto house effects yet again and let's go so let's get in two debuffs then pause if the ai lets us there's some extremely defensive star lord and still is Here we got this. Just gonna go for extra safe pause before my level two. So we got five incinerates now. Relic is very useful for Meg Sentinel as well because then, well, you just get to apply the debuff and pause and effectively the same combo. Okay, we're gonna go for another pause as he didn't seem to want to throw that special. So he does now. Let's go for one more. Go for quickly pausing everything. We got 13 incinerates ticking away now. Got the pause, 14 incinerates, up to 18, 19. Okay, now we're cooking. Now I effectively, all right, we can reapply these with extended durations. We got the 20 incinerates and maybe we'll even, oh wait, why did I do that? Did not need to do that. But maybe we can actually go for that level three damage here. Again, by force of habit, finish the combo with medium. Okay, I want to see what's gonna happen here damage wise. Because obviously the base damage is gonna get capped, but let's see how about the burst damage. The bur that was 578k. <laughs> we should have thrown that level three way earlier. Okay, so this was 2 minutes 19 seconds. You can probably get it in 2 minutes. And that last detonation was for 578k. That's quite sweet. So yeah, she can definitely take long fights very well. She was the Shuri before Shuri. Still with a ton of utility as well. And yeah, the biggest upside of her, and without a doubt, the reason why I rank her is because she's going to be tremendously helpful in Lions War as well. So let me know what you think about my latest rank up, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about.